The accountant must always perform his or her duties in the best interest of the public and the company stockholders uh, and the company stockholders. Now, that's going to have to do with, of course, we, if we have an our objective not being a personal objective, but being as acting as agents for uh, the, the company in order to make sure the company represents and shows the financial data well, not just for the company, but for the users of the financial data. And that's going to be typically the shareholders and that to the public as well. So we want to make sure that uh, our goals and our objectives when we think of the profession is in, in, in alignment with that for the external users. And if we're acting as that being our in case, then we're acting in a way that's typically good for the profession in general. We have uh, integrity, which has to do with the accountant's behavior must be honest and beyond reproach at all times. So integrity is going to have to do with certain types of things to make sure that one, we look uh, independent, both in appearance and in in practice as much as possible. And therefore, we, we can say that, you know, there's reliance on the numbers. The more integrity there is in the profession, there's more reliability in the in product, that being the financial statements. And all of this with payroll and the financials, of course, has to do with with trust. And you, you need to have that uh, factor when uh, dealing with the financial statements and dealing with accountants. Uh, because it adds value both to the individuals, to the profession, and to the end product being the financial statements and the uh, payroll.